Hello my friends, welcome back. So, according to the video, you guys want to see the Lotus Bowl. Um, if you saw my Temu haul, you saw I got these acrylic markers. And I wanted to try it out just to see if I could actually paint on the mold. I flipped the mold wrong side out because I'm going to put mica powders on it and stuff like that. But I wanted to see if I could paint these little flowers right here. And see if it would adhere to it. Well, I put that on there earlier. It's staying on there just fine. Uh, and I did this not really in the light where I could see to do it. So I'm going to do the rest of these. You don't have to shake these up. This is a nice thing about these markers. Oh, also, by the way, guys, I just want to thank you guys. Um, I noticed somebody had asked about Temu. And if you could, if it was in American money or what it was, you know, and I was like, well, I knew in America, yeah, but I didn't know in other, you know, in Canada. And some of you guys answered the question for me. And I, you know, you guys are talking to each other and I think that's amazing. Kind of a little resin community here. A Temu community. And whatever, most of us have. Timu mold addictions, or we have our crafting addictions of some sort or another. Whether it's journaling, woodworking, Timu hauls, you know, we have our our little things that we all love to do. Needlepoint, cross stitch, crocheting, macrame, whatever. And Timu's got stuff for about everybody's need. So all I'm doing is I'm kind of taking the pin and I'm trying to go along these raised ridges here. I'm not trying to be exact because I want this to kind of... I'm going to, once this dries, I'm going to go over this with a lighter pink mica powder. This is pretty cool. I'm excited for this. Boy, this is going to be cool, cool, cool. So all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just going along here. doing it more by feel because it's you can see the lines but you can't so I'm like well, let me just do it by feel the brush kind of finds its way around into the grooves as you go by How are we doing tonight, guys? I hope everybody's having a good night. I'm having a great night. I'm here with you guys, making a video, playing with my new molds. This is my life right here. I could just be perfectly content to talk to you guys and make videos and just it's fun and you guys are so responsive to him and I love that love the conversations we have talking back and forth just a great community of people and when I saw that tonight it just kind of made me happy to see that to see you guys are talking to each other and you know, when you see somebody post a question, if you know the answer to it, you're helping them out. And it's like, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to try things and see if they work and if they do and if they don't. And show you guys before you spend your money on it. Is the mold any good? Are these products any good? Does this technique work? If not, what, what, what do we need to do to adapt it? 
and you guys educate me on things that I didn't know, on ways to do things that I had never thought of, thinking outside the box maybe, and it's, it's great. I just want to tell you, I appreciate all of you, I appreciate everybody who watches, everybody who has subscribed and has commented and liked and shared and I just appreciate you guys. Fixing to go on a art room space redesign. I talked about it a little bit in my Timu haul. My art room. I have a good size art room. I'm very blessed for that. And I'm getting a new shelf for it, maybe. I'm going to go look at it tomorrow. And uh, I want to I wanna set up a better resin area. So all my stuff is right together and I know kind of where all my all my stuff is and makes it easier to get to. Alright, one more. I think I might need to use the ClearCast 7000 for this. It is a thinner resin and you can pour it a little deeper and it doesn't get as hot as my J Diction 4 hour resin. I poured it and I poured it in two rounds in an item and it got pretty warm. And, I mean, normally I'm pouring at night, and it's not hot in here, but it's not cold either, you know, so it's like, actually probably the perfect temperature. But, uh, yeah, so, I think I'm going to use that thinner resin in hopes that maybe it won't, it won't, uh, flash cure. I love the way the J-Diction works, so, so much better. Alright, that was my pink acrylic paint marker. Fresh tip. If you didn't see the set, guys, if you didn't watch the Temu haul, this is the set. Got it on Temu. So amazing. I love this, guys. I'll tell you. This is a game changer. If you use any kind of markers for anything, Acrylic markers, especially. I mean other markers, of course, but acrylic markers. That brush tip is amazing. And it shows them on rocks, on phone cases, on plates, on, like, looks like little statues, on shoes, uh, on glassware. It says it'll mark on anything. It marked on silicone, so we know it'll do that. Alright, so the color I think I'm going to brush over this is called Orchid. And it is the color shift um, mica powder from Let's Resin. I'm going to brush that over these flowers. And I'm not super worried if I go over the flowers. Um, if I go around the flower a little bit too far. And then around that, I'm going to use pale green color shift. Um, I think on the inside, I don't know. We'll see how the pale green looks if I... If I like the pale green, I'll do the pale green on the inside. If not, we're just going to do it on the outside. And then I'm going to pour. I might tin it lightly with some alcohol ink. But we're going to pour that on there. So I'm going to do the orchid first. Which is a pink. It's a color shift color. Start pointy things. There, 
use a screwdriver here, poke a hole. Okay, that overkill, right? There we go, we'll fill it back. <laughs> What's that saying? More than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> my hand in here and get this kind of straightened out and anywhere where I painted with the acrylic marker it's still going to show when we demold it because it's on the mold first so it'll still be there I guess we're just going to go around this I guess I could put you guys on pause and bring you back when I'm done with brushing the powder on. Just putting it on these little flowers all the way through. I think I might do that because if not, this is probably going to be an hour long video. If not longer. Alright. So you see what the first one here looks like? Pretty, huh? And we'll do the green around it. All right, so I'll put you guys on a pause. I'm going to do the rest of these flowers, and then I'll bring you back when we're done. Okay, guys, we're back. So I got them all brushed, and I went around with the baby wipe, and I cleaned up most of the excess. I don't care if there's a little bit, because, you know, they're going to kind of blend together a little bit anyway. And I've got the, it's called pale green. It does not really look green to me, so I don't know. Maybe when we brush it on, sometimes these chameleon powders are deceiving. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't look green. Does that look green to you guys? I don't know. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess it is. I was gonna say I just tilted it. I see it now. All right, so we're gonna brush around here. This isn't going to be as hard because we don't have to be as careful. Because we've already got the flowers done. We're just covering everything else pretty much. Alright. So what colors you guys... A couple of you said you guys had... Uh, Somebody said they had a lotus candle holder. What color are you guys going to do it? Did you get a few ideas here? I don't know. I'm debating what color to do in the back. I mean on the inside and the resin itself. I thought about maybe like a really dark, dark green. Almost like a... say an emerald green but even darker maybe because black looks good with the mica powders with these chameleon powders but I don't want to do it black on the inside so I thought about maybe green really really dark dark green maybe take just a tiny bit of black pigment and mix it with some green ink or green coloring and put in it I have green mica powder too. I could just use that if I wanted, I guess. But I think this is enough mica powder here. I don't think we need more mica powder on the inside. Plus, you wouldn't really see it. This is just to back this. these colors of these color changing color shifting I had another one I could have used I didn't think about it from yellow green to gold Around 
here. There's the rim of the bowl. Give all this a light coat too. Might as well. Might as well cover it and color shift my cut. be able to turn a mold like this. Can you imagine trying to do this from the at through down looking in the uh, inside of it? Oh boy. And there's all kinds of ways you could do these. You're not gonna have to do micro powder. I just love the color shifting powders. I know, well I've looked at some lotus flowers and the flowers were pink. And some were pink, some were yellow, some were... I mean, there's all different colors, but I was like... I really like the pink ones. I'm not really a pink person, but I was like, oh, those are pretty. And I thought, well, I'll do the flowers in pink. And then the rest of it in kind of a green color. And this is in that Let's Resin kit that I got. Almost there, guys. And I'm going to shake this over my trash can and get rid of any excess that's on, on it. And I'm going to put you guys on a pause and I'm going to mix up some resin. I'll come back, we'll pour it, and then tomorrow we will demold and see what we got. Ah, I just touched that too. Yeah. I have mica all over me, guys. <laughs> I already do. That's alright. Baby wipes work really good for that. They will take mica off pretty good. It was funny, I used to work at this job as a at the zoo and my girls would tell me because we did face painting well a lot of the face paint you offer glitter for the little kids well you're outside working in the elements and the wind's blowing and you put glitter on a kid's face paint and half the time you end up with glitter all over you plus these girls were encouraged to put on a face paint with glitter and everything that so when the kids come by they see it and they're like oh i want one like that so it was encouraged so these girls would go in a lot of nights and they would have glitter on their face and um, they would tell me they would, you know, you'd stop at a store and go in to buy something and they were allowed to take tips and they would get these a lot of dollars, of course, you know. Here they go in with glitter and a whole lot of dollar bills and they said they would get some really, really, really funny looks from these cashiers like, what do you do for a living, ladies? Why do you have that much glitter, you know? <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious. So let's see him with all that, all the ones and a bunch of glitter. And what are you doing for a living? You're an exotic dancer. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to wipe this excess off here right quick. Magic of baby wipes. Probably 90% of it off. There we go. There's the other. The rest of it. Alright, I'm going to wipe me off. Get it off my hands. No, I don't know why am I doing that. Because i got to flip it right side out first. Alright, I'm going to shake it over the trash can here. And jiggle it around. 
Now we're going to turn it back right side out. I do this wrong guys no what did I do right oh, there we go duh <laughs> I'm like what did I do wrong had me scared for a minute guys I thought I put the mic on the wrong side like oh no I put the mic on the wrong side <laughs> I didn't I didn't we're good okay now I want my hands off I gotta mix up some resin here and I'm thinking I'm going to use the it's not a very thick mold but it's deep and when I use that other resin it kind of almost not really I used it in a deep pour the other day and I only did half the pour and the bottom half of that mold got really hot and that was with the J Diction 4 hour D mold so I'm thinking I'm going to try my ClearCast 7000 again. And I'm going to do it this time with, uh, make sure it's measured right and stir it really good and everything before I put it in that way. I think that was my issue before, was it not curing correctly, is that number one, I didn't have the mixture correct. And number two, I didn't have it stirred all the way. Now I've got my stirrer. So I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up my resin. I'll come back. We'll add the pigment to it, and then we will pour it. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. I'm back. So, I mixed up 12 ounces of resin. Probably going to be too much, but I want to be sure. I don't want to end up... Okay, what color we got here? Jade green. I want to say it was emerald green that I wanted to use, but let me look. Grab my ink here and take a look. See, I'm gonna add a little bit of black to whatever color I use. I want grass green. Uh, I don't know. I might use the jade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the jade. I think we'll use the jade green. And tiny bit of black pigment and this black pigment I'm literally okay I'm gonna put the green in first thicker green up here Here first. Yeah, that's way too translucent. color in here. Yeah, I probably have way too much. But that's alright. We'll handle that. We will handle that. Okay, so now, I don't want much. I'm just going to add. We're going to stick this stick in. And we are going to wipe almost every bit of it off here. Alright, we're going to try here. Okay, so we're going to use this. 
see what color we get. Oh yeah. This is what I'm thinking of right here. If you've ever seen one of those really dark, like the elephants, the jade elephants, that's kind of what this looks like. Gonna mix this up really really good this is why i like this resin guys if you look no bubbles i mean there i see one right there boop, boop. just that's the one thing i'll say for this resin so few bubbles i'm so impressed by that let me stir this really good because i see a few like stringy strings here We're not really going to see much of it because our mold is all covered in mica powder. All right. Okay, I might not end up with as much left as I thought. I'm still going to have some. Alright, so I mixed 12 ounces of resin here. And I'm going to fill it all the way to the bottom. Right to there. Because when the resin shrinks, it's going to pull back. Okay, so I mixed 12 ounces of resin and I used 8. No. I have eight left, so I used four ounces of resin on this. So we're going to give it a little squish around the sides here. I'm going to let it set for just a minute. I'm going to find another mold here. Oh, what do I want to do? Do a jade skull. Wonder if I had to do some mica powder dusting in here. Nah, I'm just gonna pour this one. The star of this show is uh Is the Lotus Bowl. Wow. That just <laughs> spot on for that. Wow. <laughs> so I know this is eight ounces of resin. Almost perfectly eight ounces. Wow. Say nine wouldn't hurt. Let me get my baby wipes here. Wipe my hands off. I hope this is in view. Are you guys seeing this? Yeah, okay, you are. I'm like, I didn't even check. I'm like, I knew I checked when I started, but just let me make sure I didn't move anything in there. Alright, so. We're just going to give this a shot of, light shot of alcohol here. There we go. I'll come back and check it here in a little bit to make sure I don't need to put another spritz of alcohol. I'm going to clean my spoons. And my cup. And we will be back tomorrow for demolding day. Best day in the world. <laughs> Except payday. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. The next day. Hello, I'm back. It's demolding day. Before we do that, I gotta move these two guys out of the way. 
because I got to show you something I got today. Got to show you something I got today, and I need all this room to do it with. Just need to go back in their little box so I don't lose my chameleon powders. All this needs moved in order to do this. In order to show you this, so I got a delivery today. And the delivery came all the way from Australia. Australian Post. Oops, backwards. Australian Post. Excited, guys. So, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of pouring your heart out. I love Julie, I love her mold. And I particularly love her dragon mold. Look at this mold, guys. I am so excited for this. I am so excited. If you know I collect dragons, I've showed before in my video a couple of my dragons. I'm also a Lord of the Rings fan. And I wanted to do a dragon, kind of like Julie did, where she did all the gears and stuff like that in the dragon. But I don't have as many gears to fill it. I don't want it to look too sparse and kind of... She did that already. So, what I want to do, because he's going to sit probably on my shelf by my Lord of the Rings stuff. I think I want to do the red and gold fire dragon. Smog, I believe. Smog, Smog. Yeah. I think it's his name. And uh, I have a chameleon powder that goes from red to gold. Red to gold to... I don't know what the other color is. Red to gold to yellow. Something like that. And, uh, of course, I've got all my others here. All different colors. And he's kind of brownish, reddish, goldish, orange. So that's what I'm going to do with this. The texture, guys. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to bring him up. He is a heavy mold. Let me turn my flash on so you can see this, guys. I want you guys to see the detail in this mold. Can you see the scales in the dragon? His spines down his back. Holy smokes, guys. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, it is. Look at this mold, guys. Holy smokes. His feet. His wings. Just the entire thing is spectacular. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Holy smokes, I'm so impressed with this. So, yeah. Needless to say, this may be my next project. Uh, it's probably going to take at least a couple pours, I'm guessing. Because he's pretty deep, so I don't want him to. I sure don't want to flash cure this mold. So I would probably do at least two. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to brush him with mica powder, of course, uh, with my chameleon powders and stuff, and then fill him with black. And then I will put him in there with my Lord of the Rings stuff. I'll take a picture of him in there with my collection. I have quite a collection of Lord of the Rings. I actually have characters that are still in the box. Never been removed. I have several golems that have been never been out of the box. Um, I have some, of course, I've taken out over the years. I have a few of the collection of glasses that came from Burger King years ago that lit up. I have characters that talk. I have a watch, a pocket watch, that's actually... Is it this dragon? No, I don't think it's this dragon. Gandalf. And I think there's a dragon on it, if I remember right, on the pocket watch. So, yeah, I collect a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff, guys. I'm a huge, avid fan. And I think he would be a perfect addition, sitting right there beside all of my characters. Done. Like the dragon. And I've looked him up online. Like I said, I looked him up because I know he's red and gold and brown. Kind of coppery color. His head's darker. I do know that. And uh, his body right here. And then it kind of comes out into reds and golds. So, yeah, he's going to get brushed with some beautiful, beautiful mica powders. So, all right, guys, enough about him for now. I had to show you, though. I had to show you how amazing he is. He's like, wow, wow, wow. 
Let me move him out of the way here. I don't want him to get messed up, so I'm putting him somewhere so he will be fine until I get ready to use him. All right. And I don't know if I showed you guys this, but when Temu sent me my order from them, the stuff that they let me pick, not my art stuff, they actually, everything came, instead of coming in the crinkly bags, came in these big, really nice zip close bags. And I mean, they're bigger than my tray here. So, this is what I'm putting my molds in. So, I've got about four, five of these. I got five of these. So, that'll be enough for my bigger molds anyway, and my better ones. All right, guys. Demolding time. Are we ready? This guy here, I was kind of worried that he might have flash cured. He got really warm. I was kind of worried about that. This is a lot thinner resin, so I was hoping he wouldn't. But he got pretty warm. This one was fine. I came out and checked on it. It felt okay. This one here got kind of warm, so I took him outside last night. It was cool. I took him outside him on my washer outside in my patio, and he cooled off quite a bit, so I think he's all right. But, uh, yeah, he started getting really, really, really hot, and I was kind of getting concerned. I was like, I don't want to mess up my mold. So I took him out. So... First thing is our Lotus Bowl here. This was the one everybody had requested. I'll spray some alcohol down in here. Help me get this mold out. Get this out of here. This is going to be pretty, guys. I already see a little bit of it. Not enough, though, to be able to tell. Alright. Here it comes, guys. Are we ready? Now, keep in mind, I did this with the acrylic paint pens and mica powders. Chameleon powders from Let's Resin. Get this out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Wow. That turned out gorgeous. So I did the pink marker and then I did pink mica powder over the top of that isn't that beautiful and then I did this pale green mica powder and when I put it on it really didn't look green and it still shifts look at that how pretty that is wow guys that is gorgeous oh my god wow what a nice bowl. I gotta trim this. Not trim it, but I gotta use my little deburring tool right here on the edge. Make it where it's not quite so sharp. This deburring tool is so awesome. Keeps me from cutting my fingers off. Literally. I am not good with sharp objects. <laughs> do not do well with exacto knives. I used to struggle so bad. I was a, I have a degree in graphic design. And when I first started working in the graphic design business, I worked for a newspaper. Imagine that. Newspapers. What are those, huh? And uh, we had to cut out Frisket. Colored Frisket. In order to make, because this was back when couldn't just send anything digitally you had to actually have a board and it had one sheet for this color this was red and this was this color and this was this color and you had them all attached with registration marks and I struggled so bad using that knife to cut that frisket out it was horrible 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 oh my god I love that what a beautiful mold holy smokes that's gorgeous all right, he was just leftover resin, a lot of leftover resin, actually. And uh, 
thought about maybe taking either my gold or silver pen and uh, highlighting all my little skulls on here. This isn't actually too bad of a mold to get out. It's kind of surprising too. It doesn't look like it would be you're like, oh, it's got all these ridges and stuff inside, and it's actually not bad to demold. I've been very impressed with it. Oh, he came out real good. Came out really nice. Look at that. Wow, he looks black, though. And let's see, this is the same color I put in here. But you don't see it because of the powder. Wow, he looks so nice. And see the skulls here on the side? And what I thought about doing was taking... Where's my silver pen? See if I can find my silver one. I just had it here yesterday. I haven't cleaned my table off here. It's getting cleaned later tonight. Here it is. This is my silver metallic marker from Dollar Tree Crafter Square. And, uh, Coloring in my little skeletons here. There we go. See my skeleton there in silver? And then I could do this one here. We could do him the same way. In silver. My skeleton's actually very textured. All of them are. They're pretty detailed for this mold. I was pleasantly surprised. I've had this mold for quite a while. This was one of the first molds I bought. Um, when I first got into resin, yeah, he was one of the first ones I ever made of a bigger mold. I tried a lot of the smaller ones first. Keychains, then I tried shaker molds. Struggled with those so bad. If I do shaker molds again, they will not have liquid in them because I, that was one of the things. It was just so hard to get the liquid in there. Eh, I shouldn't have colored his mouth in, but that's all right. I'm going to color his eyes in. We're going to leave his eyes black. Might make them red, actually. But, uh, yeah. So he turned out great. He did not flash cure, thank heavens. He looks good. Everything turned out nice. Like I said, I think I'll go around. There's quite a few skulls. And, uh, there's like skull and crossbone bones. They have their rib cages and everything on them. So I think I'm going to go around and maybe color these all in silver. I thought that'd be pretty. But yeah, so this turned out beautiful, guys. Oh my goodness. I am so, so impressed with this. Just absolutely beautiful. Wow, guys. What do you think? Hopefully this gives you some ideas. This is not my colors that I would normally pick. But I figured these would be beautiful on this bowl. Of course, you guys know me. I like purples, pinks, blacks. Maybe some gold thrown in a little there. A whole lot of sparkle, which this does have that sparkle. I think that's why I like the mica powders and the chameleon powders, because of the sparkle in it. You don't have to add glitter. It sparkles automatically, you know? It just shows. so sparkly. So, alright guys. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. We're making some really cool stuff here, guys. I have got so many molds. <laughs> and more coming. Timu order that is coming is on 
has not been shipped yet and it's due here shortly in about a week no a week and a half and they said if it doesn't come by then they're going to give me a five dollar credit and they do that automatically if your delivery is not there by the latest date it says it's going to be there they give you a five dollar credit as a way of apologizing for it being late which i think is amazing you know i understand they're shipping it things happen and every order I've ever gotten previously has been on time and before time. So, I can't complain. The order that I got, got Sunday was actually due. The first day that it was due was Sunday. I didn't think they delivered on a Sunday. I'm thinking, okay, they're going to wait. It'll, it'll come Monday. No, it came Sunday. On a Sunday, I got a delivery from Timu. So, I was just blown away by that, number one. I was like, wow, okay, on a Sunday, really? So yeah, guys, if you like what you see, these are, like I said, this mold was not expensive. It was super reasonable. Uh, and, I mean, that's a decent size. Look at that. That's a nice size rim. It's not like it's a cheap made mold. It came out great. It had nice details on it. With the pinks and the golds. Very pretty. Alright, guys. I've jabbered on enough. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was everything you expected it to be and more. It turned out perfect. I can't, I wouldn't change a thing about it, honestly. Just absolutely gorgeous. All right. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please do so. We're getting closer to a thousand. My goal is a thousand right now. And I really, really am trying to reach that. So if you like it, share it with your friends if you think they'd like it. You're like, hey, check out this crazy lady that makes resin stuff. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate it. Have a wonderful night, guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Hopefully everything that you do in life turns out wonderful and beautiful. Including all your resin projects. Bye.